Hello beautiful people, it is Amanda here with another 2024 diary flip through. This time we're going to take a look at the Moonology which is by Yasmin Bolan and she's been producing these diaries for quite a number of years now uh, and I am a big fan of Yasmin, I do love her diaries and have used them myself for a couple of years. Um, this is a really great one, most especially if you love your astrology or you want to get more into understanding and working with the moon phases uh, and the different astrology like when planets go retrograde uh, and those sorts of things so really great one so as you can see we have our ribbon it is very pretty quite a decent enough hardcover that you have on the diary itself it is about an a5 size maybe slightly bigger than an a5 size she has lots of information in the beginning about uh, the astrology in general. So how the moon can change your life, going through the different quarters, full moons, dark moons, new moons, uh, giving you more information. Also going over a little bit about 2024 and some of that information, I guess a bit, you know, as a general, uh, how the year's looking, what sort of things um, to be excited about. Uh, also, obviously, we've got um, the different signs split up and, and some of the energies that are connected to these as well. How to work with the new moons, ways to work with the full moons, working with the houses as well. So all through first house, right the way through to the 12th house, a little bit of information. And the same with the full moon through the houses as well. So some info there for you to be able to refer back to. Uh, and then there's more information. So the Moonology of 2024. So really giving you some insights about what's ahead for us and highlighting some different dates uh, that are especially auspicious. Of course, a whole year at a glance there. And then we go straight into our breakup, our weekly breakups. And it starts towards the end of December so that we can dive straight into January. So for each week, she generally has a this week and gives you a bit of an overall influence uh, and any dates that stand out that maybe have retrogrades, things moving forward, full moons, that sort of thing. And she has a quote of the week as well that ties in for the week. And we do have the timings of the different full moons in a few different places. So Yasmin usually covers LA, New York, London and Sydney as being the main ones to get a sense um, of what time the full moons and new moons are. Then at the start of each month, she also has a bit of an overall idea about that month. So highlighting your last new, your last quarter, new moon, first quarter and the full moon for that particular month and what date it's on. And gives you a bit of an overall about that month and what is standing out for that particular month. What to be aware of and pay attention to. And then she starts with that weekly breakdown again with a this week. Uh, and with this one, what are you grateful for this week? And so then we have the new moon the same sort of way where it's broken down into the information, some keywords with the new moon, and of course the dates and timings of this. And she, each new moon has its own new moon wishes and intentions. So there's a few questions there which you can fill in that help to really focus your new moon. And then we go back into that weekly breakdown once again. And she has the astrology down the side. Uh, so you know um, where your moon is sitting, what astrology sign the moon is sitting every single day and when it's changing into the next sign as well. Really well thought out, really well set out. Not necessarily loads of room there for you to write lots of appointments and things like that in, but this might not be that kind of diary for you where you want to have all of your appointments and things in. It might be more about, you know, being able to plan perhaps some of your meditations and rituals and those sorts of things uh, working around the moon phases and the astrology energies and those sorts of things instead. 
perhaps being more of a, a ritual and spiritual kind of diary, more so than a day-to-day -day planning diary. But I know for some people, you know, you don't need a lot of room to be able to write either. So totally up to you and what works for you for sure. So that's how the whole diary goes along for the whole of the year. It is a week to a page. Uh, loads of information in here will really keep you on track with every month, with every retrograde, full moon, new moon, your first and last quarter, all of those sorts of things. And as I said, even your daily what astrology sign that you're in. The only thing I would suggest for me it would be missing is there's no sabbats that's listed but like i said this is purely an astrology um, and moon focused diary so uh, definitely you have all of that a hundred percent covered in here lots to really uh, use as a focus uh, and to be able to refocus and redirect yourself uh, and really sit with the energies and work with the energies to a really great degree So that is Yasmin's Moonology Diary. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know if you've worked with her diaries as well and what you think of them, uh, of all of her focused questions and the way that these diaries tend to flow. Uh, as I said, I have worked with them the last few years and I do really enjoy working with her diaries. I find that um, there's a lot of information there. They're really good with uh, looking at the different areas we should be focusing on at the different times of year, the different months, and even in the different weeks within every single month as well. Mystical Dragon does have this one for sale, both in our e-store and in our physical store. Our physical store being in Seaford, uh, Melbourne, Australia, uh, and our e-store being on our website at mysticaldragon.com.au. So do check those out, and I would love to hear from you, hear your thoughts and I look forward to catching you guys again in our next video. Please do like and subscribe to follow along.